several Evansville businesses say they've been hit with counterfeit cash. Thank you for joining us. I'm Shelley Kirk. I'm Brandon Bartlett. Brad is off tonight. Several businesses in the North Park area say that they discovered several counterfeit bills yesterday. Eyewitnesses Cody Bailey talked with one employee who saw it all firsthand. Oh, they just pulled it off, like, really well, I feel like. They knew what they were doing. A string of counterfeit purchases for businesses along North First Avenue have employees like Aaron Lieberconnect on high alert. It's usually, like, 50s or 100s, so we're trying to look at those, but every bill that's usually passes is 20 here. Having worked at the North First Avenue Dairy Queen for six years, Lieberconnect says she has seen a fair share of customers. But on Wednesday, Lieberconnect noticed odd behavior and a strange order of two plain ice cream cones by two individuals. But he just kind of wouldn't look at me kept looking around and stuff. He had a medical mask on and a beanie, which was kind of covered and I could only see like right there. This is just one of several instances. According to police reports, multiple counterfeit bills were spent at nearby IGA, Advanced Auto Parts, and Pet Supplies Plus on South Green River Road. Three were discovered at the First Avenue DQ. I tipped off by my uh, stepmom working at Schnooks, and she was like, watch out for these two guys with beanies. They're passing fake 20s. The bills are almost impossible to detect. Restaurant managers say the bills pass the marker test, and only fine details, like raised lettering, reveal their counterfeit status. We were holding them up to the light. These are all real. They weren't. Management spent today training employees on what to look for, a difficult task, and a fast-paced environment. It's nerve-wracking because we focus on our time, getting food out fast, whatever. If you have to wait on someone doing the money, adds to the time. So you just hurry, look, hey, it's a 20, cash it out. But now you just, it's nerve-wracking because you don't want to take another one or, like, fail your workplace. Reporting in Evansville, Cody Bailey, Eyewitness News.